Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Sydney. Feels good to be out and about. Um, it's been ages since I made a video. Just wanted to share a few things that I've been experiencing. Um, yeah, it's been challenging. I know it's been challenge challenging for a lot of us. Um, we're all going through a lot of things, ATM in the world. Um, you know, with the pandemic, there's a lot of shifts going on. And so globally, there's this stuff going on. But then that's also bringing about things in our own spaces, in our communities, and also within ourselves, right? Because we're going through things that none of us been through before um, and in a world where we're used to being so fast-paced we don't usually get the chance to stop and take stock and check in with ourselves and each other you know to actually stop and um, check in I know for me that's what it's been like um, for those that know me you know I've always got lots of things on partially because I like to be productive partially because you know I'm very ambitious and there's a lot of things that I want to achieve in my life um, personally and on a business level but also as a human human being on the planet there's a lot that I want to achieve but part of that also stems from not wanting to sit still and a friend of mine highlighted that very insightful um, because I was sharing with him that you know when COVID hit like I lost um, a bit of work you know a lot of my freelance stuff and the businesses that I was involved with was affected and um, and I shared this in one of my finance um, entrepreneur videos where I said as soon as COVID hit and we had to go into lockdown and we lost um, I lost quite a bit of work I um, reached out to a relative and said if there's any work going on in your space I need a job so I started you know working at night part-time um, you know in the essential services sector a, a sector that I hadn't been involved in for so long but um because I panicked and thought what am I gonna do you know financially to take care of myself and my responsibilities my child and my daughter um, I went in to do this work anyway so I was sharing with him that um, that's what I was doing and he was like are you sure or is it because you can't keep still it's like okay yes that that's primarily it because I really could just um, stay home like most people and you know be on job seeker or a job starter but I actually don't want to be at home I've got to keep moving and the other thing is the gym was closed so I thought a physical job where I get paid well and I can work at night because I'm a night owl and keeps me busy and then the social aspect too you get to meet a lot of new people and you're around people as well so it ticked a lot of boxes for me and that's what I did anyway so that brings me back to how we're coping with what's going on um, I really wonder how everyone's doing out there because this week has been so full-on for me um, primarily because you know last week we lost a very dear friend a brother you know someone that I known since I was quite young from Fiji and then here in Sydney so that kind of rocked me and my family and communities but also it triggered um it brought up a lot of emotions and and things that i'd gone through in the past that i thought i dealt with but obviously had not i don't deal well with loss and losing people um, so i've kind of been in a cave since the weekend actually since sunday today's friday i've been in a cave for quite a while and only emerging 
to work at night or to take care of things for my daughter but then going back and just staying in bed um bouts of depression even you know and it just made me think about what everyone else is going through how are people coping you know um for me you know sleep was needed and i rested but it was not in my mind it wasn't it's not healthy to stay in bed all day and night you know for a long time yes a couple of days if you're unwell but yeah it's a bit too long for my liking but it's good i recognize that and luckily reached out and um was able to access some online some over the phone counseling yesterday which is quite helpful for me to just let things out and it also helped me um, reflect on what I was going through and what I what I needed to do to move from that space of darkness into a more positive space which is me you know me and most people know me I'm the upbeat positive kind of person that's always looking on the bright side of things um, yeah so that's what I did I was able to call a counselor and go through what I was going through and then highlight a few things which I needed to do for myself number one is acknowledge that um, it's okay to ask for help because you know I also work in the helping sector you know youth work community work stuff and it's okay for us to ask for help um, even though I feel guilty, I feel guilty being a youth worker or studying social work to be a counsellor. I feel guilty asking for help and that has to stop. I know a lot of us go through that where we feel like we shouldn't be asking for help because we're the ones that are usually helping others. But very important self-care and filling you know, our resources up and making sure that we're well and good enough to be there for others to be the best that we can be anyway that was my first kind of um, light bulb moment which I know anyway I just needed it to be highlighted again at this stage of my life number two taking time for me like yes I'll go and have a cuppa for myself or go and sit in a cafe or in a space in light or you know, or I'll go out and have a couple of drinks or hang out with friends, but a really solid period for myself, not for someone's birthday, not to go and meet somebody else, not to, not for others, but for me. And I have not done that in so long. So that's point two. I'm blocking off a period in the next couple of weeks where I'm just going to tell everybody I'm switching off going to go and use some of my frequent fire points and log out and um, take some time out for me I'm looking forward to that it's not going to be easy because uh, like I, I'm the one that kind of is there for everybody else and tries to do things for others but yep yeah, so that's number two self-care tip having a little staycation away from everybody solo mission number two number three number three what was number three actually was that number three so we had number one was ask for help number two acknowledge that it's okay to ask for help actually that's number one yep so ask for help number two take time really take time out for you okay whatever that is whatever that what's going to make you happy for yourself take block a good period like I'm, I'm planning to take three to five days if possible three to five days okay the third point is um investing in yourself like activities that you used to love doing that you haven't done in a while that that's good for your soul and your spirit for me i've just come back from a singing class i haven't heard a singing class in so long I've come back from a singing class, look I'm beaming and for me singing that's my heart, my soul, that connection um, and it's so healing and very empowering so that's what I've just come back from so there you go, three things that I've done for myself to shift me 
from this negative cave, this negative space where actually I, I wasn't answering the phone, not talking to anybody, um, not even texting, only speaking to people if I really had to, but I had to just switch off from the world and stay in bed for a few days, so since Sunday, and it's Friday today. Um, so I felt compelled to record this and share this because I know that a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff right now and I acknowledge that I'm very blessed and resourced to be able to help myself through situation and things and I've, I've um, pretty resourced and, and I acknowledge that. And I just wanted to make this to remind others that whatever they're going through, there's support, there's phone numbers that you can call if you need to speak to a counsellor to vent, you know. There's um, services to help you, there's food, um, if you need stuff with food or housing supports, um, you know, things to do with your children or with your elderly, Australia's pretty resourced. And even though we're run by a neoliberal type of government there is funding being shifted to support people with their everyday needs because we're all going through this um, I will post this video up and I will post some support links in the comments sections to assist you and um, if you have any questions not sure about something send me a message I'll do what I can or link you to people that can assist Okay, I feel so much better sharing that. And thank you for those that reached out to check in with me. Um, all is well, all is good. So please do take care of yourselves. And yeah, if there's anything that you want to share or any comments, send me a message, okay? Take care of yourselves, people. Peace.